we have Krusty from DDD, Isaac from the Black Sword, Shiro from Log Horizon. <laughs> oh, you actually, uh, you actually thought that was real. Wait, you don't have a guild? Oh, I have a guild, but it's not named Log Horizon. Also, Naotsugu owes me 50 gold. I mean, the only thing worse than Log Horizon would be Debauchery Tea Party, and the woman who named that group was insane. Like, literally, we deported her. To China. But, but! And not a gentle deportation, I mean boot in the ass Donald Trump level deportation, like she's, she's fucking done. Bah. Then what is your guild's name? Crit happens. <sighs> Really? God damn it! That's cool. I'm surprised you didn't think of it. I wish I had! Yeah, Log Horizon sounds like the kind of name someone who gets arrested for tax evasion would come up with. You know, like DMX, Wesley Snipes, not that it's a racist thing, it's not racial, I'm not racist. Down to business. I found a way for us to establish proper law and order. Really? What? Well, I'm out. But I haven't even started telling you my plan. If it doesn't involve violence, it doesn't involve my guild. Good day, sir. Well, we just lost Legolas. Oh no! Do we still have Gimli? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we do. <sighs> okay, we're still good. Stand down for red alert, people. Uh, you can't mix Roddenberry and Tolkien! I can do what I want! America, bitch! <sighs> I hope you die on this mission. I volunteer to help in this exercise! I'll just respawn. I'm trying to have a meeting here. Who are you talking to? Oh, sorry. I've got Naotsugu yakking away in my ear right now. My, uh, deepest condolences. Meanwhile, at the Hamlin Guild HQ, Toya and Minori are preparing to leave. I thought you were supposed to be gone already! And Minori, why are you here? <laughs> oh, we're leaving. Leaving? Leaving? Yeah, like, goodbye guild, I hope you choke on a dick leaving. How do you plan on getting out of here without getting caught? We've got help on the outside. How'd you manage to do that? We... may have... sort of... possibly, kind of... accidentally told a lie. I is it safe? Just fucking move, bitch! That fucking cunt! Just where the hell do you think you're going? All right, I did it! What the fuck did you do? I didn't do that! Run, my child. Flee to safety. As you command, my lord. What the fuck was that? I think it was the menu. So back to the meeting. How do you plan to get everyone to behave? Funny you should ask. Earlier today, I bought the guild building. But that means- Yup, call me Wall Street, cause I own the bank. Wow, fuck yeah! Shut up. I also own any part of the building outside of your guild halls. In short, I own you. Transaction. Fuck you, EA! Defeated by a door? This is a critical role, dumbass. But, boss, it says I can't get out because some guy named Shiro owns the building! <sighs> Looks like we made it! Look out! <laughs> Think you're so clever, huh? I don't know what you did, but you're going to undo it right now. But this is a non-PVP zone! I'm not attacking him. I'm just choking him out. But how? Because I'm on the nice list, you simpleton. It's nowhere near Christmas! My lord! Yeah, yeah, my bad. It seems I missed this one. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, dumbass outfit, cloth cover in his mouth, looks like he tried to rape a dog and it scratched up his face. Rude. His name is... Uh, hold on one second. What is your name? Schreider? Schrader? Schwifty? Shavab? Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna give up on this. His name is, I don't know, like Shabalaba Ding Dong. 
I don't know, someone's got a German fetish. Dutch, actually. Yeah, like Schrodinger's cat. Yep, just send him to the moron. Uh, where'd she go? What the hell? God. Oh, oh God. That'll Fucking teach you to sell miners in the black market. The now. What, what the hell are you talking about? We know you had an underground sex ring going on, and we're shutting it down. What? We were just selling off the XP pots. Ask the other guilds, what kind of sick freaks are you people? What are you smiling about? A side project I was working on just finished. Hamlin? Doesn't exist anymore. This is outrageous! Oh, this could have been much worse. Menu's plan was to buy the cathedral, auto kill everyone, and trap them inside until they agreed to my laws. It was a perfectly valid plan, Shira. That's a little too dark even for me. Twat waffle. Hey, this is Elder Tales, not Battlefront 2. Keep your pay to win bullshit to yourself. Oh shit, dog, you want some aloe for that burn? So that's what the money was for. Nice! So now we're going to sit here and come up with some laws, where no one here is going home. What about William? He just left. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be really funny when he tries to enter his guild. So essentially, we came up with the Ten Commandments on how not to be a dick, and unlike the actual Ten Commandments, these will actually be enforced with immediate consequences. And no amount of goat's blood or sacrifice will save you from the punishment you have earned. After all, everyone here knows by now, Menu wasn't programmed with mercy. That went over better than expected. Sir, it appears our intel was correct. The people of the land have sent in their spies from the kingdom to snoop around at all our new stuff. I'll get Shiro on the chat. Sir? Cause he fucking called it. Also, these laws should apply to the people of the land, too. You want us to enforce laws to protect NPCs? I mean, they do outnumber us. We literally cannot die. True, but we can still be kidnapped, tortured, and all other manner of terrible things. Bring it on, I say! Your weird fetishes aside, man, men you suggested this. And I agree. Oh, well next time just lead with that! And the food thing helped us learn something. We can make things that didn't exist in the game before. So yeah, we haven't finished building it yet, but we have a working steam engine and we're in the process of making a giant steamboat. Yeah, our R&D may be brand new, but we're about to advance the shit out of the technology in this world. Fuck yeah, steampunk Lord of the Rings! Everything seems to be proceeding as that villain in glasses had planned it. You know, even though it's a good workout, like, how many books do you have? Enough to justify my considerable intelligence. Please don't throw around words that you're not ready to use. Just put it over there. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Anyone home? Oh shit, why? Oh, you look so cute in your cleaning outfit and your arms are so soft. Go away before I stab you. But I brought you this amazing housewarming present! Shiro, banner from this building immediately, or so help me God, I will use the rope from last night. But we brought you food. Oh. Um. Well, thank you. We have takoyaki, okonomiyaki, and crepes. I only eat Taco Bell and Mountain Dew. Mm, you'll eat what I make you. Yes, ma'am. Just put it on. You'll look adorable. Why are you here? Oh, are you throwing your housewarming party today? I thought that was next week. Ah, Sojuro, Nyazuna, perfect timing. I just whipped up a new batch. Awesome! We brought some cherry sake as payment. Ooh, that sounds delicious. I can't wait to try some. Ah, you want to drink it during the new episode of Hercules High tonight? You know it. I heard Isaac stopped by. How did that go? So this is Nyanta's base of operations now, huh? Um, it's a filthy hovel. Let's see what we can do to clean it up. <sighs> Thanks for the cleaning help, but did it have to be a harem of water nymphs? No kink shaming in the guild! I'm just saying that while it may have cleaned it faster, now we have flood damage to worry about. It dried pretty quick though, right? 
and you saved plenty of time. Which means you now can start moving in the furniture. That's literally what we were doing when you all showed up. You don't want to break in your new bed tonight? What? No. no. So you want to break in mine first then? Mmm, understood. I don't have the energy to argue with you anymore. Saving it up for tonight then. Nice. Uh, what is wrong with you people? What do you mean, you people? Racist bitch. <laughs> By the way, Sojiro, why are you here? Well, I, I got a message from you saying to stop by. So did I! But I never sent a message! That'll teach you to ignore me. Oh, goddammit. I was about to head out to shop for our curry party tonight when I bumped into these two out front. They said they had something important they wanted to tell you. What's wrong? You two are free. Yeah, no one's going to sell off your sister now. This isn't Hollywood. We don't trade in sexual favors for advancement. What? <sighs> Ignore him. We're just glad you guys are safe. No, I, I mean... Uh, there was no underground sex ring. That was just a misunderstanding. Why didn't you tell us that? I mean, it made you act a lot faster. So, you know, there's, there's that. I blackmailed the whole town because of that. And why? Why didn't you tell me anything, Menu? You... You knew the whole time, didn't you? Uh, of course I did. But it was funnier this way. So the adventurers of Akihabara had a conference and decided to make some laws, hmm? What took them so long? Your Highness, I brought Princess Lanessia. My daughter. What has Lord Menu shared with you? He said beware. The Daves are learning. So, why La Burgenator? Aren't there better names you could have come up with for your restaurant? Naotsugu suggested it because he liked the name. Marielle immediately agreed with him. Henrietta agreed with Marielle just to shut her up. Nyanta was indifferent about the whole thing, and then the little girl just kept staring at Nyanta the whole time. You mean... Sarah? You could not pay me enough to even attempt to pronounce that name. I don't know, it was pretty easy to pronounce just now. And Akatsuki! <sighs> I still don't know why she got so mad she sided with Naotsugu. Those two are like oil and water, like sandpaper and pudding? I don't know, analogies are stupid. Because you wouldn't come to the tent! You threatened to tie me up with rope and do God knows what to me! I never said the rope was for you! Yeah, you're gonna cut that part out, never speak of this again, and this interview is over. And this better not show up on the internet! Hey guys, FatTony92 here. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Anyway, I want to thank all of you for your support and patience of Fat Dog Studios. This episode did take a little longer to put out than we would have liked, but uh, school and holidays are a bitch. But despite the bitchery of said school and holidays, this episode honestly would not have been possible without our very generous patrons. You guys are awesome. And a very special thanks to all of our Maximum Overdogs. Again, you guys are awesome, and we'll see you guys next time. Also, forgot to mention, we have gaming streams going on the channel now. All times are in the central time zone, by the way. We have Menu Mondays at 8pm. Tuesdays are Doger Sucks at Gaming. Wednesdays with Cody-chan. Pirate Dave, aka The Best Dave. Thursdays with Shaggy. Fan Fridays, where we play games with all of you. And sometimes on Saturdays, we play D and PD, or Dungeons and Fat Dogs. So, you know, hey, there's that. Come visit us there. It's a blast. See you guys next time. <laughs>